Okay, you guys, if you have been thinking about getting the Brother Anovis NQ1700E, I'm gonna give my honest opinion on it. I have had this machine for maybe a little about two years. And honestly, I'll give my honest opinion on this. Um, I have been having issues with this machine probably the whole while that I've had it. Um, when it works, it works. And when it doesn't, it doesn't. This little piece here, my husband actually made this. He got some wood from Lowe's and put it together. It's supposed to be a good tool for when I am floating items and I can just put it above, like right here and just go ahead and float it. I'm honestly thinking about getting a different machine, the pulling embroidery machine. Um, the arm is on this side instead of it being on this side. So it gives us more space to go ahead and um, this machine comes with different hoops. I did buy additional hoops on Amazon maybe a little over a year ago. It has the really small hoops um, and it can go in. Like say you're wanting to float it or different things like that. Um, like the shoulder or something small. I have this. This is the biggest hoop. Um, I honestly cannot remember if it came with the machine. I think it did. If not, they have them on Amazon. And you can do your bigger um, images on this one like say you wanted to do a sweater or different things like that you could do it on here so i was going to show you a stitch out um i have been able to do a few patches and it has you know they're beautifully patched um they come out very well but the thing is you may have a little bit of break uh thread breaks or as you can see on this one the bobbin was coming through um you just have to make sure that your tension and things are right these are very beautiful um so it's just up to you. It depends on what you're willing to put up with when it comes down to a embroidery machine. There is no reason why my machine should be doing this, but as you can see, when I am pushing it out, it's continuing to stop for whatever reason. As you can see, my um, hoop is on there correctly. And it's stitching, we can see, it, <laughs> as you can see, it just continues to stop. And I'm just pushing this down because it'll say randomly the presser foot. Um, I mean, the hoop, the frame cannot be used or different things like this. And I have used the other frames that come with this machine as well. And I am still getting the arrow. It should never take this long. So think, keep that in mind when you're thinking about, you know, using this machine. Like I said, it literally it does it what it wants to do when it wants to do it and that's not okay not um especially not how expensive this machine is <laughs> if you will um i was gonna try to do this review with um you know me doing this whole stitch out which is only supposed to take 18 minutes we should be halfway through this by now but i keep on having to press the button Mind you, everything is threaded correctly. The bobbin is good. And you see it stops and goes when it wants. Um, this is another reason why I've been skeptical about doing um, like a patch business, patches or different things like that business because I don't want to have to be standing here all day. There are so many people that have inquired about getting patches done and different things like that. And I'm just like thinking about it like, I don't know, I might have to get another machine. And right now I'm going to be moving in a few, um, like ne a little bit next year. And I don't want to have to get one of those big old machines and haul it across states. <laughs> so I just wanted to work with the one needle right now. I might get the pulling machine, the new one where the arm is over here. I've been looking at the pulling one and the genome one. But like I said before, this really isn't a bad machine if you get a good one, okay? Because there's no reason that this machine should be stopping every single time <laughs> it goes. Like, as you can see, it's stitching out very well. But why is it? Why, why are you saying that this embroidery frame cannot be used? Yes, it can. And I've changed my machine. Oh, mind you, I am um, I'm actually embroidering on some twill. You know, just so we can do this. 